Prism Medical brings you the Independent Lifter, designed to provide independence and freedom to various transfer situations. The Independent Lifter, in combination with the Prism Medical Ceiling Lift, is easy to use and removes the need for a sling. The Prism Medical Independent Lifter is designed for safety and comfort to include padded torso supports, adjustable leg straps, and adjustable gripping force. These allow for custom fit for safe transfers. This stainless steel structure provides durability and longevity. The intended user should have moderate upper body strength, moderate to maximum head and neck control, moderate trunk control, moderate hip tone, good cognition, and should weigh no more than 440 pounds, which is the safe working load of the independent lifter. Keep in mind, the safe working load of any lift system is only that of the component in the system with the lowest safe working load. To use the independent lifter, first attach the QRS hook attachment point of the lifter to the QRS hook of the ceiling lift. Next, simply center yourself between the torso supports and slide the leg supports under your thighs. The leg strap should be at a length so your hips set at a 90 degree angle. Place your arms over the torso supports. The tops of the torso support pad should be located a few inches below your underarms. Raise the lifter using the up arrow on the hand control. The torso supports will grasp your torso, hugging your mid rib cage while you begin to lift. This provides security and comfort during transfer. When you reach your desired transfer location, press the down arrow on the hand control to lower the independent lifter. Once you are seated, you may move your arms, which will allow the torso supports to release tension. Now, remove the leg supports and move the independent lifter away from the patient and into a safe area. The independent lifter leg supports come in three sizes, small, medium, and large. In order to decide which size is right for you, simply measure the circumference of your mid-thigh halfway between your hip and knee. Reference the leg support size chart to determine which size will fit best. Be sure to tell your sales representative which size leg support you would like at the time of order. Positioning rings should be placed one inch apart on the torso support bar, directly above the center of the user's thigh. The leg support strap should be placed between the two positioning rings. The leg support straps on the independent lifter should be adjusted to a length which places the patient's hip at a 90 degree angle. Tighten or loosen the straps using the quick tight buckle to the proper length to achieve a 90 degree angle at the hip. Be sure to secure the strap in the feed through buckle and ensure there is no slippage of the strap. The gripping force can be set to small, medium, or large. This will allow for proper grasp of the torso pads based on the size of the patient's torso. Adjusting the gripping force should only be done by a trained technician. Having the proper gripping force is crucial for safe and comfortable use of the independent lifter. Too high of a gripping force can result in user discomfort or minor injury. In contrast, insufficient grip force could result in the patient falling back and out of the independent lifter. The components of the independent lifter can be cleaned by wiping them down with disinfecting wipes containing isopropyl alcohol. A preventative maintenance program is offered for the independent lifter. Please see the owner's manual for details. For questions, assistance, to order an independent lifter, or get a residential assessment, please call us at 866-891-6502 or visit our website, prismmedicalinc.com.